Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Breitling Chronomat 44 limited edition of 50 pieces in stainless steel. You can see this combination of Breitling brains and brawn and own it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this 50 piece limited edition Breitling Chronomat 44 in stainless steel. Now the watch on my wrist is an imposing manufacture movement all-purpose sporting chronograph, though the Chronomat series is inextricably linked to Breitling's aviation heritage. Since the 1983 resurrection of the Chronomat under the Schneider family, it's been more of an all-arounder in the Breitling catalog, boasting robust water resistance, 200 meters in this case, as well as features such as the rotating bezel and the chronograph functionality that could be useful to aviators, but generally come in handy for all sporting occasions. Now the watch is big and bold. On my wrist you can see this this is classical modern era Breitling from the 80s to the present. A 44 millimeter case, if you measure from 9 to 3, not inclusive of crown, crown guard, or chronograph pushers. It's also quite thick. This one a little bit thicker because of the presence of a rare display case back, scarcely seen on Breitlings. It measures 17.3 millimeters thick. It may fit underneath a suit jacket cuff, but it's not one to dress underneath a sleeve beneath. This isn't one for your French cuffs, guys. This is a big, bold watch for being worn on bare wrists for the most part. And across that bare wrist, lug to lug, the watch is going to stretch an imposing 54 millimeters. Now, if you count the solid end lengths of the bracelet, it extends to 55 millimeters, but the bracelet, a substantial piece, can be interchanged if you want to go aftermarket or OEM Breitling strap. Due to its 22 millimeter lug spacing, many options will be available. Now the bracelet is a substantial five link design. It's a pilot's bracelet in the Breitling parlance, and as you'll note, it features a combination of satin finish on the top to reduce glare, polished flanks, all of the sizing done with screws, not pins and sleeves. The clasp is a simple single fold deployment for security when donning or removing. Closes, tight tolerances, security of a clamshell, not friction fit. And of course, comfortable as the interior of the clasp is arced to trace the curvature of the underside of your wrist. Now if you look at the stamped date on the back of the bracelet, it is dated as of 2011, which can be considered the birth year for this watch. But there's more to it than that. As you'll note, this limited edition of 50 pieces is inscribed on both the polished flanks of the case, as well as the case back itself, where you can read the edition number. right on the back. Now, the timepiece features what can generally be called the Breitling aesthetic of the 2000s. Big, bold, a little bit of a fluid compound curvature about the case flank, but almost like a submersible or a bathyscaphe, pardon the phrase, for your wrist. It really does feel like a bank vault in every respect. Now you'll note that the side of the case is surprisingly curved compared to a Rolex of the same size and proportions, something like a Deep Sea. This one does have a little bit more sinuous grace about it, and there is some nuance in the contrast between the polished flanks and the satin finish of the hood, or for example, the circular satin finish of the digital style relieved bezel against the polished rider tabs. And that's the terminology for these, the rider tabs on a Breitling bezel. Breitling bezels have a terminology all of their own. You can see it's a captured bezel using screws to hold it on rather than a snap fitting as you'll see on Omegas and Rolexes. That means it's very difficult to knock the bezel off. It is a unidirectional rotating bezel. So you can align those digital numbers. You can align the luminescent pearl and you can use the rider tabs to gain better purchase on the bezel when your hands may be wet, sweaty, or gloved. So you can actually time something by lining up with the minute hand and you can time a countdown, for instance, from zero to 60 as you are diving, but you can also time something concurrently using the chronograph function for the sake of hours, minutes, and chronograph hours. So two concurrent timings up to 60 minutes. The dial is difficult to describe, and I should mention that this inner ring that separates the bezel from the sapphire crystal, that is known in Breitling parlance as a chimney. So if you talk to a watchmaker about the chimney on your Breitling watch, that's what he's talking about, this metal ring, this buffer between moving bezel and sapphire crystal. The dial features a quadrille style recess on the center. So effectively, it has a rectangular recess 
on the center dial surrounded by sunburst. It's a difficult dial to describe because it's somewhere between an anthracite gray and even bronze with overtones of chocolate, but it is a gorgeous metallic finish and nicely detailed as you can see with polished indices, polished chapter rings for the individual registers, and easy to read white on dark calibration. Now, if you look outboard, you'll also note a sloping ray hot that slopes down from that chimney to connect the bezel visually to the dial base. It can be used for more easily reading the chronograph seconds. The watch is fully luminescent. There will be a loom shot at the end of the video. Worth mentioning some of the delicious details, including the yellow tips of the sub-registers, the yellow chronograph seconds hand, and the elaborate Breitling counterweight in the form of the B and the anchor on the chronograph seconds. Now, turning the watch over, you get a rare treat, as display case backs are incredibly scarce in the world of Breitling. You can see the caliber B01, 47 joules, automatic winding, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, 70 hour power reserve. Now, these are true screw down chronograph pushers. They're not screw down look. The crown likewise in its characteristic chronomat onion dome form is also a screw down. You'll note the column wheel mechanism interacting with its levers and horns, a traditional mechanism for actuating a Swiss chronograph. This is the way it should be in all chronographs. Beautifully made, crisp, you can hear it, you can feel it, and in this instance it's actually teamed with a vertical clutch. So if you like to just engage your chronograph and leave it running for the sake of center chronograph seconds, you can do that with a vertical clutch. There's no additional hazard wear or tear on your movement or shortened maintenance intervals as there would be with a conventional lateral clutch. It's the best of both worlds, the column wheel and the vertical clutch. Moreover, you'll note with the vertical clutch there's no jump or stagger to the chronograph seconds hand as you start and stop it. The B01, again, water resistant thanks to this case and crown combination, down to 200 meters. One of the precious few Breitling watches, even in the new regime under Georges Kern, that is blessed with a display case back so you can see what you're paying for. It is a robust and long-legged movement these days. All the kinks from the 2009 model year worked out. It is now considered to be both a tough and precise caliber, as it's also a COSC certified Swiss chronometer, meaning it boasts impressive credentials. A pleasure to use relatively silent and unobtrusive in its winding, if I may say. It features additional refinements such as hacking or stop seconds for synchronizing against a reference time, and a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date in the event that the watch should run down or encounter an irregular length month. A contemporary watch with contemporary caliber, all of Breitling, and incredibly rare, is one of only 50. Remember, Breitling is one of the companies that often makes limited editions of two, three, four, five thousand 5,000 pieces. This is truly limited by any definition. See it and make it yours on our website. Breitling Chronomat 44 limited edition, as you can see, featuring a robustly luminescent dial, and you'll note chronograph seconds, highly readable even in the dark. The luminescent pearl of the bezel can be maneuvered and lined up against the minutes hand, and now you can easily read minutes and seconds by the light of Luminova. See it by the light of day on our website.